y'all, Donnie Keith here, a.k.a. Auntie Peaches from the Auntie's Radio Show, also on The Voice of Reason. I'm here to say that ever since my man started taking A-game, he's been on top of his A-game. When I say A-game, I mean his A-game. He's more focused. He's definitely working out more. His attitude is better. And he's not complaining of all over body aches due to poor blood circulation. Because A-game provides great blood circulation. If you know what I mean, ladies. That blood circulation. Sometimes I have to hide the A-game in the bushes when I'm out walking the dog. Just because I want some sleep. (laughs) If you know what I mean, ladies. Stay on top of your A-game. Game, fellas, get your A game. What's going on, everybody? It's your man Ronan back with another one. Back for a five minute firewatch report. You already see the title it is the uh, intro to masculine spiritual war science. Now, this is my military interpretation of things. Before I get into it, I want to say much, much love to uh, the A-Game family, mad love for the A-Game nation. All my uh, fellow subscribers, both new and old, uh, hit the subscribe notification bell for future videos that come out. <clears throat> now, what came about, what brought this about, is when I was uh, watching my brother, She Stay Sleep, do a video yesterday. And seeing the responses or even the dialogue back and forth at the conclusion of his broadcast, this brought this to mind. So when we go about here every day about our business, we we need to understand what spiritual warfare is. It's about principles and principalities. We talk about things with the 10 life values and the lost value system. But there is one common law among many that we need to understand. An educated, lame, nor effective leader cannot occupy the same time nor space. Now, what do I mean by that? So I got to break it down by the numbers, of course. So when it comes down to an educated, lame, he is governed by this. This is his banner. This is his flag. This is what he stands underneath. But by design, you see that a pyramid is not meant to be set on top of his head. As you can see on either side, if he stands underneath it, he's built to be crushed underneath it. This in the direction it's going, it shows the corruption. When you talk about individuals who are governed by this false reality, the belief of depreciating assets, people and ideas. This person is going to be broken down step by step from the wealth down to the spiritual and it doesn't have to happen in order now we're talking about actual effective leaders we've always talked about it great leaders create great leaders many times over in the the Marine Corps what I've learned I had to learn by the numbers as many uh, veterans as I, I can attest to that can talk to you about this we always remember the yellow footprints who we were civilians all that ended at the yellow footprints and we started becoming marines but we had to start off as recruits we had to earn our place as a marine in the fleet now granted even though individuals have earned their place in the fleet you could tell by their spiritual value whether it be the lost or the 10 life values what kind of marine they were and that could be any branch of service as you can see here by design If you work on the interior, we talk about the spiritual, knowing who you are, what you are, what you stand on. Speaking on your health, we always did a lot of physical PT. By the numbers, every day, we get up at ass crack 30 or 5 o'clock. We're always running, always keeping our health up. That way we can perform at our maximum optimum health. When we get back to family, and not even really in the military, but let's just say in general as men, what you do with your family, you become the commanding officer of your post. So if you want to be the man, you pay the cost to be the boss. They fall to you as the head. 
If the head falls, the body follows too. Then we talk about your appearance, whether it be PT, work, or special occasions. We always had to be our best, represent ourselves. How we looked out there, and not just how, but what we wear, but how we carry ourselves, by our standards, our speech, our thoughts, things of that nature. Then we talk about our dwelling. We always feel day. We always clean up, not just the exterior where we live at, but within ourselves. Do we have any outstanding demons we have to deal or exercise out of ourselves? When you take care of all those basic th things, respectively, and you see by design, you're meant to keep rolling. Keep that momentum going. The external five will take care of itself in due season. Even if they to go back a few steps, it keeps everything intact. See, it doesn't pay to be a billionaire and be spiritually bankrupt. Or it doesn't pay to have a, a, a mansion with 18 rooms and about nine bathrooms. You can have all that and still be functionally homeless. See, the home is a whole different atmosphere. It deals with a lot with the eternal five that, make, that makes the difference between a house and a home. See, with that, and before I close this out, my whole thing is in the 10 life value system right here, you start adding value starting with yourself, how you view yourself, how you carry yourself, what you stand for, what you want, establishing healthy boundaries. And they basically move fluidly onto other areas in your life. It will reflect on your health. It will reflect in your family and your appearance, your dwelling, your mobility will start to change, not just for yourself, but those around you. Same with your education, not just in, the, in school, but all around learning more about yourself and how to increase these things in the right and proper fashion. Then your profession, you're not defined by your job. You're defined by who you are. Then you go back to your leisure. You have that creative recharge. You know when to say when and get back to business and increasing your wealth, not just in spiritually, but all areas. And wealth is the accumulation of everything, not just external, but internal. So that's part of the intro course into knowing that law in man science. And I'll show it to you again. An effect, an educated lane, nor effective leader cannot occupy the same time nor space. It's outright impossible. See, this is why you have educated lanes who, by definition, had defined themselves as I mean, not worthy of respect, credibility, nor to be taken seriously. See, a man with principle and purpose will not attach lame to his name. He will find every opportunity to unfuck himself. And when it comes down to it, an educated lane will treat accountability as a punishment. Whereas an effective leader will use it as an opportunity to make himself better via lessons or correction in of the target audience, but especially of himself. See, in this day and age, you started to see there. This is the year of being of truth being revealed. You start to see where people stand. You start where people need to be, knowing your role and playing it. So if you got individuals who are proud to call themselves edu educated lames, you know what you're dealing with. But when it comes to an effective leader, he ain't just going to say it. He's going to show it by actions, words, and intent. All three working in concert, establishing that balance. But that's just part one. I want to say salute to you guys. Much love to A Game Nation and my family. Mad love to uh, Dr. Holman, who helped me see things clearly in season. But this is what we're supposed to do, helping not just our brothers in this space, but beyond this space. This is why we say, I always say that we are the curse breakers of our time and age. We are the miracles we've been waiting for. But it always starts within. Then we branch out, not the other way around. So with that, 
you always know never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin peace